Hey Jake, I got your email. I'm glad to hear you're making progress through uh, chapter two. And I saw you mentioned those exercise, those challenge exercises again. And you know, I went back and took another look at them. Um, because it did say in the book, you know, if you just read ahead, then uh, uh, it'll start to make sense. But I, when I was looking at this, I noticed that um, one of the things you kind of need to know for this one, they don't really get to till chapter three. But I thought anyway, I'd give you a preview at least with um, exercise 118 and see if if that makes sense to you. Um, because um, they're dealing with something called, um, you know, inter-object communication or, or communicating between objects. Um, so I'll just, you know, talk very briefly about that because like I said, you're going to see it later on in chapter 3. And uh, we'll see if this at least makes sense for exercise 118. So 118 says, um, add a sunset to the single sun version of picture. That is, make the sun go down slowly. And it's kind of cool to be able to make the animation. So we'll, we'll at least uh, get that done for you. Let's see. So it says, remember, the circle has um, a method slow move vertical that you can use to do this. So let's see. Let's take a look at. So actually, the the um, the stuff about um, inter-object communication gets brought up in uh, chapter three, where they have this clock display um, project, and you know that's the the clock display talks to the number display. You can see that stuff in uh, chapter three, but. Um, Let's take a look at at, um, at our problem here. So it said go into the um, picture class. We want to want to modify the picture class. I want to add a sunset to the uh, to picture, but it's actually the circle that has the slow move vertical method. So that's that's where it's kind of kind of got to think about what we're doing. So. Um, what we have here is one one of the objects that we're working with is the sun, and the sun belongs to the circle class. So you know at this stage that um, objects get made from classes, right? So the so we have we're going to make a particular sun object from the circle class. So let's just open the circle class for a second and see what they're talking about with the slow move vertical business um, down horizontal so there's a move vertical but there's also a slow move horizontal and a slow move vertical so these methods belong to the circle class okay but that means that all these behaviors all the methods in this class um, are are behaviors that um, any any object from that class can do so when we make so we have slow move vertical it's a void return type and it has one parameter an integer parameter called distance that tells us how far it's going to go so let's take a look at how um, and you know also notice there are other there are a lot of other methods in here right there's there's a plain old move horizontal and move vertical that just immediately puts something at a particular distance uh, okay so let's take a look at the picture class for a second and see how those are used so if we look down here when we're drawing the original picture we, um, we have these square objects the wall and the window we have the roof as a triangle and the circle object that we create the, the object of the class circle is the Sun right and there's this declaration up here that also says yeah this Sun is, a, a, is an object from the circle class so um, once you create this uh, this circle object then any of the methods that are defined in the circle class you can call them here as long as you name the object that you're that you want to call them on okay so if you want to so basically so the idea is where we created a new object and we want to call methods on that 
object, um, we have to we have to refer to the object by saying sun dot change color, sun dot move horizontal, sun dot move vertical. Okay, and then we're giving it. So we saw the move horizontal, move vertical. If we give it the um, integer, then it'll it'll do that. And so the same thing is with um, um, the slow move horizontal. Let me just I'm gonna so and we see and we have that whatever that change thing that should be in here somewhere. Change size is in here. All those things are in here. Okay, but let's see the slow move vertical because that's going to give us the sunset. So I'm going to copy that to make sure I spell it right. And go into picture again. And I want to do this after the sun is made visible, I would think, because I want to make sure that I see the sun going down, right? So I'm going to say sun dot and then paste in slow move vertical. And I need to give that a, a number. Let's see. So originally, I'm, I said move vertical minus 40. And the y coordinates actually, um, the way the coordinate system works is it starts up here in this corner at 0, 0. And the x coordinates get bigger this way, and the y coordinates get bigger this way. So we started in the middle basically and went up minus 40. I'll just go slow move vertical down 40 and see how that looks. So this, so if I give a positive number for the vertical, for the y coordinates, that's going to make the um, object go down. Okay, and it should move slowly. It says slow vertical. Let's see if that compiles. That looks good. And let me try it. Make a picture. And if I say draw, oh, went down, but not very much, right? Let's see. Maybe we need to take a look at where that that square is. So the square, oh the square was moved vertical 40, but it's a lot bigger, isn't it? The, oh, that's the window. The wall moved vertical 20. Hmm. So we can experiment with numbers. What if we did, let's see, oh you know what we could do maybe is see the size of the, um, how can we figure out what the size of the whole deal is? So we have a picture, maybe if we looked at the canvas. Does the canvas say how big it is? It says it's 500 by 300 it looks like. Yeah, the width, so the width is 500 and the height is 300. So if the height is 300, then maybe we want to go down, I don't know, let's try 240, see what that looks like. So that's probably more than you wanted, but you can experiment with different numbers, maybe 200 is better, but um, that, that'll give you an idea of um, how this works and um, yeah like I said at this point in the game it's not that important um, for you to, to totally get it because in chapter 3 they're going to be talking about the inner object stuff but um, if you want if you want to you know go ahead and play with this one and, and maybe that will give you ideas for the uh, for the next two but if you're still stuck on them you know go ahead and give me a holler if you still still want to work on them or if you want to wait until, until chapter 3 that's fine um, just, just let me know. Good luck.